So I thought I'd take you on a tour of all the shrimp tanks uh, in my fish room here. Haven't done a full shrimp tour for a little while now, so I um, thought I would just take you guys through each tank and kind of show you what I got going on. Um, also wanted to uh, make sure that everybody knows that uh, Aquatic Support Systems, the company that I run, we do sell a ton of shrimp products. We sell MK Breed Shrimp Food, Shrimp King Shrimp Food, Low Keys, uh, what else? Um, Glass Garten, full line of Glass Garten foods and, and uh, um, products. Uh, the Salty Shrimp Remineralizer, both the GH Plus and the KH GH Plus. So if you're looking for any of these items, we just got a massive order of Shrimp King and a massive order of MK Breed stuff in. We've also got the new Glass Garden Shrimp Snacks, which are real cool little packeted food. Um, you can see up here too, um, the Shrimp King Yummy Gum. That's a, that's a pretty popular product. Anyway, enough of that. AquaticSupportSystems.com, check it out. On with the tour. All right, so we're gonna start off with the uh, the uh, rack of four over here between two fish tanks. These are my uh, trusty, sturdy, hardy, low grade, A through S grade crystal reds that continue to just breed like crazy for me. A um, lot of uh, babies lately, um, so if you're looking for any of these, uh, let me know, shoot me an email. Just go to my website, AquaticSupportSystems.com for my email. I don't list shrimp on the website, I only list products at this point so but shoot me an email if you're interested and uh, we can uh, work something out the black pinto tank next door is doing well i called a lot of the uh, uh, michelings there's still a few that i missed but um, just kind of watching uh, things progress in this tank and uh, see what uh, eventually comes out of it but i need to uh, call some of these michelings for people that don't know what a micheling is is like I just saw a pretty good example. There's a couple right here where instead of black, it almost looks like there's brown or like this guy's just kind of whitish. That would be considered a Michelin. Here's a good example of one right there. Um, so I uh, need to call these out and put them over in another tank. Uh, the other crystal red tank that hasn't been doing as well did, did produce some babies as you can see. There's not many shrimp in here. 10 or less. There may be more babies that are hiding in this massive, massive uh, bunch of flame algae here. Also, some of these tanks that have uh, like mini pelia, subwasser tang, uh, spiky moss, pointed spear moss, things like that. I do sell the plants and the mosses as well if you're interested, heat me up. And then next door to them is the uh, PRLs, Pure Red Lines. They're doing good. Um, they're chowing down right now. Actually, all these tanks are chowing down on the uh, MK Breed Cheeseburger. That and the Shrimp King Complete are my two favorite foods that all my shrimps seem to really like. Um, and I carry them both, although, like I said, the Shrimp King is out of stock. But um, the Shrimp King Complete is out of stock. But, uh, yeah. We'll move over here. We'll take a look at the uh, Blue Dreams. These are a neo Caradina shrimp. Um, they're doing fairly good, not as good as they once were, but uh, I'm thinking breeding's gonna start kicking back up now here as we enter into March and stuff like that. And uh, I've got no doubt that this colony should uh, be looking well again at some point. The Pinto population has dropped. Um, I've sold a few, not a ton, but something, something has happened where there's just not as many in here. I've, I've only come across one dead one, um, but um, something's been going on, so I gotta figure that out. But the ones that are alive are doing well. Um, down below here are what I call my golden bees slash white bees. They're Looking real good, and I'm not getting too many out of here as far as babies that are not solid color, either white or goldish white. So I'm pretty happy with what I've created here. What I did, um, I had the crystal red tank that I set over there that um, there was only like 10 or less. When that colony was really 
rocking, they would produce a lot of solid white shrimp. There's some babies here too. Um, and then I also would, sometimes my Taiwan bee tank would produce whites, and then I had actually ordered some golden bees, just mashed them all up into one tank, and this is what you get. And uh, I've got a ton of these, and they're available if you're looking for something. Email me once again. The mixed Thai bee tank is down below, doing fairly well. Not as good as it once was either, but I think we're kind of in the off season as far as breeding, you just don't see as much as you do in different times of the year. So these guys are doing well. And then the crystal blacks with one crystal red mixed in there. Gotta get that guy out. They're doing real well and uh, breeding like crazy. So that's fun. The tank right above it. This is my Bloody Mary tank, although I'm not real happy with what I'm seeing as far as uh, when the when the breeding happens, I'm not getting the nice solid colors always, so I got to start doing some culling there. There's some that look magnificent, but uh, have to rethink what I'm doing here. Probably bunch of subwasser tang there. This tank here is the dwarf crayfish tank. Honestly, I haven't seen anything. I know they hide a lot, but I haven't seen anything lately in this tank. I think they've all died off. So I'm gonna figure that out too. And then up above here is the savage red colony. But as you can see, it's producing a lot of shrimp that are not red, which comes from where this line originated. Uh, they were Bloody Marys, and there's also a ton of scuds in here, by the way, if you've seen them swimming around. Uh, Bloody Marys and Painted Fire Reds. You know, Bloody Marys come from, uh, I'm trying to think which Neos, but uh, a brownish color. So you're gonna get, um, unless the line is really advanced, you're gonna probably get um, some off-colored shrimp at some time. So I've been calling these out slowly but surely and I'll continue to do that and I just sell those off real cheap uh, as like a mixed no-name neo so so that's how the shrimp rack over here I'll just kind of give you a long shot that's this one over here and then this little double stand here where I've got my uh, super crystal reds they're looking well I just wish this colony would breed more than it does. I mean, it does breed. You can see babies, uh, where are some? I just saw a couple. And you can see juvies in here too. But I just wish, uh, I wish I knew the secret to getting this colony really kick-started. There's a small guy. And then down below, We've got the mixed Taiwan B tank, a lot of blue bolts, a um, lot of red bolts that really are pinkish and or white. The white ones I'll be yanking out and putting over in that white tank. Got some shadow pandas, some uh, BKK, some pandas, things like that in here. A um, couple wine reds actually, and they didn't start in here. So this uh, mixed colony has that gene in them, I guess. So they kick those out too. I'll take you upstairs real quick and show you what I got um, up going on up there. But um, just real quick, back to my pitch. Um, I'm low on stock, but I got uh, a lot coming in from Germany on the glass garden and salty shrimp stuff. You can see it all here. This is some of my fish food. Um, some of the MK Breed products like the uh, Z Silver Powder, Golden Power, Life Balls. I've got those. Um, blue. Blue Diamond and Blood Diamond. Um, all the foods are over here. Massive amounts of uh, cheeseburger and the other stuff. Um, I talked about low keys. There's uh, Hidden Noessa, Double Speed, things like that, EB210. And then the uh, Glass Garden Shrimp Snacks. And then I got a bunch of these uh, 
glass garden shrimp lollies too if you're interested. If you keep fish, obviously I've been carrying Southern Delight fish food for quite a while. And then uh, some shrimp king here and then a new shipment that just came in upstairs uh, that I haven't put into inventory yet. Remember the shrimp contest? Well, there's one coming up in uh, Aquashella at the end of March. I'm gonna be there, not participating in the contest, not judging or anything like that, but um, I'm gonna have a booth for my business, Aquatic Support Systems. So come by and say hi. And then up here, um, another Blue Bolt tank here. All adults, really some nice looking colors, but I just can't get this colony to breed. So any tips, I'd really appreciate that. Um, wine reds, a handful of adults, haven't really had any success breeding these guys either. Not sure why. And then my big 90 gallon planted tank, which um, has, you can see there's a stick of uh, cheese, MK Breed cheeseburger in there with some shrimp around it. But this, uh, this planted tank houses, uh, along with the Cardinal Tetras over there, um, cherry shrimp, hoping to get some more soon from a few different people so that I can really have a bunch in here. And then we'll see if any of the dwarf crays in this tank are out. There's a couple of the dwarf crays in here. Um, not seeing any right now. All right, so that's what I got for you on this video. Just wanted to take you through all the tanks. I want to thank everybody that subscribes to my channel. I recently hit 13,000 subscribers, and that really means a lot to me. I know a, a good portion of people watch for my big cichlids and stuff like that but those of you that are into shrimp too um, spread the word and uh, let's get more um, shrimp keepers involved in this channel as well because I do you know have quite a few shrimp tanks as you've seen and I try to do a lot of videos involving those tanks so um, if you're new to the channel make sure that you do subscribe check out my shrimp playlist and check out some of my other stuff that you might be interested in my cichlids or my reef tanks too and uh, make sure you share this video, click that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And until next time, we'll see you later.